everybody, welcome to the Outback Cooking Channel, Outback Cooking Company, and Joe's Kitchen. We're going to call it Joe's Kitchen, and not you, Joe. The, the secret, the legendary Joe. Today, we are going to give you some easy tips on how to make barbecue chicken. Super simple. The recipe today has got three ingredients. This is going to be fast, easy, no hassle. First ingredient, of course, we're going to highlight this sweet and sassy barbecue. We've got some chicken breast, your favorite chicken breast, whatever one you like. We're just using a simple, great value chicken breast today. Third ingredient, Ziploc bag. Does that count as an ingredient, Joe? Sure. All right, this thing is so easy. We're gonna take a frozen chicken breast, three of them today. Throw those here in the bag. One bottle of sweet and sassy. We're gonna use about half of this as a marinade. Just gonna dump that right in there, Joe. That's about four to six ounces that we're gonna use. We're gonna save a little bit of that for our cooking process. Seal this bag up. Shake it around, try to get a good even coating on your chicken breast. These are still frozen, just so you know. Then we're gonna take this bag, place it back into our refrigerator. Overnight, we're gonna let the chicken thaw. We're gonna throw this on the grill, or if you don't have a grill, you can use your air fryer. Simple way. College students, here we go. 12 hours later, we've been waiting here in the kitchen all night for the chicken to thaw. Joe has magically made up these chocolate chip cookies. I'm gonna have one with my coffee, or maybe I've had tin already, I don't know. Anyway, easy chicken recipe, hands off. That bag we threw in 12 hours ago, here it is. It's thawed out. It's been marinating all night. We've got four chicken breasts in here. We're gonna take these to the grill. We've set our Traeger to 275. I like to cook chicken at a grill temperature, 275. We're gonna cook this chicken uh, up to 165 degrees. I think one of the best tools that I forgot to mention here at the start of the video for cooking chicken is a thermometer. It's really easy to overcook chicken. A lot of folks get nervous. Is my chicken done? Is it not done? If you have a thermometer, you can take it right to that point of where you want to keep it juicy, but you know that it's safe to eat. 165 is a magic temperature. I usually bring that temp up to about 162 or 3, and then I let that come up a couple more degrees after I take it off of the grill. So you'll be good there, and it'll make a nice juicy chicken breast. If you want to use tongs, whatever, keep your hands clean, that's perfect. Um, one thing with chicken, you want to make sure that you wash your hands and so forth when after handling raw chicken, you just don't want to transfer that. A Ziploc bag is very nice to use because we can just throw this away. We don't have to worry about washing any dishes with chicken or contaminating other parts of the kitchen. We're going to leave it on for about 15 minutes on the first side. Use our probe. I like to get a little char on the one side, then we'll flip the chicken breast. Might have to flip it a couple times, but again, we'll bring that to 163. In the meantime, let's go have another cup of coffee, Joe. Want me to say that? I'm yeah. gonna go grab a brush and baste that. <laughs> we flipped the chicken one time after approximately 15 minutes. I just eyeballed the first flip. That's what it looks like. I love a little char. On my chicken, we're still cooking at 275. I am going to throw a little sweet and sassy as a baste on the top of the chicken here. You notice I don't have my fancy basting brush, but I think this will work. Use what you got, right, Joe? Right. So the idea here is I'm going to baste once here on the bottom side. Let that set a bit, then I'll flip the chicken back over for the final turn and baste it again and let that sauce set just a little bit. So question for those who might not know, what do you mean by letting a sauce set? I guess what I meant by those words were letting it set up a little bit on, on the meat, Joe. And uh, instead of, this sauce here is pretty thick, but it uh, depends on what you're basing with, it could set set up a little bit and uh, firm up 
if you will. Just makes a shine to your meat, makes it a little bit prettier, if you will. When we're doing a competition, we like to let the sauce set for five minutes or so at the end of our cook. Just gives a little glazy look to the sauce, makes a nice finished look to it. That'd be the purpose for that. We grab that thermometer shortly. The chicken's coming along. I'm gonna flip it one more time. The beauty of cooking on a Traeger grill, or any grill for that matter, is I love these char pieces. Look at that, we're getting some char to it. That's my favorite part of the chicken. Sweet and sassy, works great as a grill sauce. Today we're using it as a combination of marinade and grill sauce. And if you want dipping sauce when we're done, perfect. Easy, easy recipe. Literally five minutes to prep the night before, let it marinate for 12 hours in a Ziploc bag. How easy is that? You don't even have to do any dishes. Come home from work, school, wherever you're at, turn on your grill, turn on your, what's the other thing, Joe? Turn on your grill or turn on your air fryer. Air fryer is so easy. It wasn't coming to me. I was going to say, whatever you were blanking on. Yeah, I was blanking on it. On. But if you want to cook it in your oven, if you don't have an air fryer or a grill, just put this in a square eight by eight glass pan, throw it in your oven, 350, cook up to a meat temperature of 165. It's so easy. Combine that with some of your best favorite sides, green beans, corn, a little roll. I don't know, whatever you like. Broccoli, cauliflower, <coughs> I can't even say it. <laughs> cauliflower, no, it's and it's a good healthy meal, a good easy alternative. I know a lot of you guys eat chicken a lot. This is one simple way to cook chicken and uh, combine that with a sweet and sassy barbecue flavor. All right guys, we're gonna check our temp here. We're looking for one, 162, 163. The goal is uh, 165 to be USDA safe to eat, but I like to bring it to about 162, 163, and then let it finish coming up just so it doesn't overcook. Looks like we're about perfect. Voila, easy chicken. You guys want to eat this with a, a simple side, broccoli, roll, whatever you guys like to do. We're going to demonstrate here in a few minutes how to make a simple chicken slider out of this using sweet and sassy from the Dutch Oven Smokehouse.